A husband and wife from South Carolina claim they're being held captive in the British Virgin Islands. Lynn and John Hines say they were taken into custody in mid-November after accidentally sailing too close to shore. The British Virgin Islands has prohibited U.S. visitors during the pandemic. Man, Meg Oliver spoke to the couple now in a government-mandated 14-day quarantine. This is the hotel in the British Virgin Islands where Lynn and John Hines say they've been forced to stay for almost two weeks. How uncomfortable is it living there? Extremely uncomfortable. We've asked if they could uh, spray for bugs and uh, they just ignored our request. The couple says they, along with a friend and boat captain, were detained after their ship accidentally veered into the territory. We immediately turned the vessel around but before we got back to the waters, the uh, British Virgin Islands um, came up upon us and they said, you need to drop your sails and you need to follow us. The British Virgin Islands has banned U.S. citizens because of the coronavirus. In a statement, the local government said the persons were charged with illegal entry without the permission of an immigration officer. But the couple says they've yet to hear that from customs or immigration officials. Nobody would tell us why we were here. And to this day, we still don't know. Did you know there was a travel advisory banning Americans? We knew that the borders were closed, but I had no idea about territorial waters. Michael Winkleman is an expert in maritime law. And it's really kind of absurd because if, you, if you're at all familiar with this geography, you, it's literally an invisible border. It's not like there's signs in the middle of the ocean that says you're crossing over from one territory to the next. The couple says they are now awaiting COVID tests before they can have their day in court. We want out. We want to go home. We did nothing wrong. The captain has said he takes total responsibility. And uh, to hold us here hostage like this, it, we're just a bargaining chip. We can't understand why they were doing this. For CBS This Morning, Meg Oliver, New York.